what is up YouTube? This is... We're going to be starting a new series here. This is going to be called the As Divine Heart series. And we're going to be doing an As Divine Heart walkthrough. And for those of you that know, As Divine is a JRPG, the latest series of the As Divine series, As Divine Heart. And it's also available on the App Store, so if you guys have any I somehow believed that it was a sign of things to come, but after the light subsided, the heavens fell. For some time, many fear that it cannot be explained, but as time passed without significant occurrences, then we end up in this field here, in a certain forest that I lose them. Maybe you're not. I don't know how much longer I can keep this up, but there's no time for that. Take this. Yeah. What? More of them? Grr. How are they fighting me? Never mind. Better find a body to possess them quick. Have our protagonist at the orphanage here. Weapon check, items check. Looks like I'm good to go. Now all that's left is to wait for her to get her gear together. I wonder what's taking her so long though. Zach, I was just looking for you. Hey there, buddy. What's going on? Miss Heimer said to come downstairs once you're ready. She did, huh? Yep. Guess I'll see what she wants while I'm waiting. Hmm. <laughs> what do you need, Shannon? Times by told you to mind your manners and address me properly, Zach. Yeah, yeah, my bad, Miss Heimert. You're lucky it's just me, but you had better be sure to speak politely to people in the city or whatever, you, wherever you go, for that matter, or you'll end up in a real pickle. Got it? Y you know me. I'll remember, I think. And instead of another lecture. Did what's her name come down here? I told her to get ready and then come see me in my room. But it's been an hour. In that case, she's right. Oh, I see what's going on here. What is it? But hiding around the corner, come over here. Stella, I know you can hear me. Don't pretend you can't. Come out here, looking like this. If you're asking me, short answer yes. Besides, I thought you wanted him to see you in that. That's that was then. This is now. 
look like an orange petunia in this dress, and the breeze is coming through the doors, blowing right up in, in your point. You used to run all over the place in that same outfit as a young girl. Stella, I can hear you whispering over there. Try so <laughs> after feminine side for once. Stella, now out you go. Wait. This looks ridiculous. You think I look ridiculous in this? It's a dress. What more do you want me to say? So you like it? Well, if you do, then sure. That's the best response, right? It's not the answer I was looking for. <laughs> Whoa, put the whip away. You really get to, really got to fix the habit of swinging that thing around every time I get get antsy. I'm sorry. Sorry I won't cut it when somebody gets hurt. See, I told you he wouldn't make fun of you. I guess you're right after all. Even so, you really need to work on keeping yourself from getting so uptight. For one, that weapon is not a toy. And two, you'll, it'll only expose your feelings. is little on the thin side, so it's no surprise he hasn't noticed all these years. Looks like I'll have to work on being more assertive. Meow. Oh boy, we have a cat. One deer. Oh dear, you'll have a winning too. I think it's best I'll get on you all get on a move before it gets dark. The woods may be nearby. There are plenty of monsters. Don't worry, we'll be back before you can say Bob's your uncle. Whatever that means. Zack, Stella! Does our cat really have to go live in the woods? Yes, I think... <laughs> this is actually a wild cat and can be really dangerous, so it can't stay with us much longer. As its wounds all healed up, it should be able to hunt for food and fend for itself in the wild. It's so sad, it can't be any earlier, easier for him to say goodbye either. But, it's not like you'll ever see each other again. With the woods this close by, there's always a chance we'll run into each other in the future. How about a smile to see us off? Meow. I know I'll miss you too. Goodbye, kitty. I hope to see you again. Ready to get going? As ready as I'll ever be. I'll try to be back before supper. Don't try, do. Now the both of you. Careful out there. Actually, it's off to the woods for us. Yes, let's hurry. Stella joined your party. It's recommended Stella's battle position be changed. Formation selection of the menu. Quest added. Oh right, maybe we should learn some basic controls. Yeah, let's go ahead and learn some. Okay, yeah, so you can see we move in different directions. We're using the arrow keys on the PC. Clicking on the screen causes the mark one to appear. Which the character will move. Okay, so you can also click. An obstacle sits between the character and the destination. It will stop upon contact. Okay. NPCs can be talked to as well as places of interest simply clicking on them. So if you guys are on Android or the iOS, you can simply tap on the screen to do this. If you are on the PC, you can press enter. In menu one, so you have different menus here. Check equipment, quests, status. Click 2 to save. 3. Get you the map. Very nice. Original information. Drawing settings should be located in the help section of the menu. Which 
Should I review this explanation again? I think we got it. No. Maybe not. An explanation on the basic controls can be viewed at any time in the help section of the menu. Alright. So you can move up, down. If you hold the, uh, if you're on PC, if you hold the down arrow and the select, the right arrow, you can move diagonal. Like that. So you can check stuff. By pushing enter. Obviously, there's not a whole lot to check. It won't just randomly check stuff. And there we go. We move pretty quickly too. Let's go outside. And then we talk to NPCs. We can press enter. Be sure to come home if it gets dark. Glad to see our pet is finally all better. When I grow big and strong, I'm going to go visit our cat in the woods myself. Wow, this is... They are really devoted to that cat. There's some serious cat love. Anything in here? Okay. Now menu is... Um, I guess for PC you have to click on it. Yeah. Let's go see what this guy says. Be safe, you two. Just want to check everything. See if we don't miss something. It'll be lonely without our pet here anymore. But I promise not to cry. That is good. Are you going to be all alone, kitty? I never want to be alone like that. Searching all the dressers here. Alright, so it doesn't seem to be anything here. Now let's quickly check the menu here. And you can click on it on the PC. Like that, like that. We get our formation. So, mid guard, physical damage, 15% down. Rear guard, physical damage, 30. Okay. So, you can move your guys by clicking on them, and then click on them again. Like that. So, on iOS, I believe you just tap once, tap twice. Vanguard's in the front, mid guard. Mid guard. And obviously you take the most damage, it sounds like. Oh, I see, I see. And this is our jewels, so we get like abilities you can get, status, items, let's like take a look at our quest here. Alright, Wildcat has been raised and is now old enough to be released back into the natural habitat. So we need to take it east of Chaldea Orphanage to the woods. So we're doing that, and there's also sub-quests you can do, which are, are not part of the main story, but you can do them, I'm assuming, for experience. Cool. And there's a shop. Right. I'm assuming you can buy stuff right from the store. Okay. There we go. So let's go ahead and keep playing. Is it Zach? What now? You have a Rubik's or Jewel set? Or should I ask if you even know how to use them? If not, I can always help you out. That would be great. Zach and Stella currently have a Rubik's 3x3 space. In each of them, 
Various jewels can be set in varying effects. Very nice. Jewels themselves are crystals, concentrated magic. Some of them, some are found in nature, some in monsters, and while the purity varies, they're relatively easy to obtain. Moreover, certain jewels can be synthesized by visiting a synthesis shop in town and paying the fee. Those jewels are of some rank. Those jewels of the same rank can be combined with something new. Jewels also come in various sizes and shapes. Make sure you think about where you'll place them in your Rubik's, or you'll find a lot of wasted space. Uh, there are also jewels that can't be synthesized. Unneeded ones are best sold for extra cash. How is that? Do I need to explain it again? No, I'm good. Can I take it? You won't be asking me later, right? Yes, I think so. How about setting jewels in a Rubik's? Do you need me to go through that with you again? Sure, why not? We should go about setting a jewel in a Rubik's by clicking on it. In the next screen, we are able to select it by selecting the location. Okay. individual that is already inserted into the Rubik's, clicking on it allows it to be moved to a different location. Jewels can also be rotated to fit within the confines of the Rubik's. To alter placement of the active jewel, but simply click on the jewel itself. After the jewel has been set in a Rubik's, clicking that position button will bring up the placement screen. If the jewel in the Rubik's is no longer needed, it can be moved, rotated, or simply removed. Any new jewels are retained. It's also a good idea to organize your inventory and place any useful ones into the Rubik's. Does that cover things? Or do I need to repeat it? Nah. The tickets. We have the process down pat. If you ever need any help again, you can always refer to this help section. Since I was this kingdom, since I was this kingdom that developed them, we had better know how to use them. Stella, since you use a shadow element and need a light, you can't use heal magic. Well, I can, right? That being the case, toss this jewel into your Rubik's, will you? Light jewel one received. Awesome. Well, it's true, if I put a light jewel based in my Rubik's, I could learn new magic from it. Are you saying I'm a liability? No, all I'm saying is I'm probably better suited for attacking. And if I do find myself in a pinch, I'd like you to help me out. Unless you think it is strange of me to see things that way. Actually, not at all. In that case, I'll do my best to support you should that happen. Each character has a main elemental. Zack is light and Stella's is shadow. Characters can learn magic from their own elementals without the need to set an elemental jewel in the Rubik's. Right. Thanks. Now what do you say we head out? Let's go ahead and take a look at this jewel real fast. Sub elemental light magic to be used to be 50 in my books. Okay, so I guess you can't equip this one. Intelligence, 2% amount. Um, strength, 2%. It seems like a very small amount. So 
I wonder, does it matter in what order? Click and drag. Alright, so we have two jewels selected here, and Zach has none. Good. Let's talk to these guys. Do you think if I become stronger, I can play in the woods too? Most likely. I know Miss Heimert doesn't want to see her pet kitty go either, so I'll have to be strong like she is. Yes. Kind of weird. Alright, so this is kind of the world screen. You can run around. It's west, orphanage, east, woods, south, ocean. And we are in a fight. Right. I'm gonna use my mouse here. One hit kill! Alright, what a deal. Got a <coughs> item here. Alright, so we made it into the woods. Oh, we've arrived in the woods, but it's probably best to release the cat a little deeper so it doesn't follow us back home. Far in can be dangerous for us and him. Remember, monsters become increasing in numbers here a year ago. Meow. Oh, right. We weren't born then, were you? Now started a year earlier when a light suddenly enveloped the sky. After that, ferocious monsters were rarely, you rarely saw in parts of the land became more frequent. Oh, come on. Stella, you can't see me. You know we can't understand you. I'm so convinced of that, Zack. If he's a living, breathing being like us, he should be able to understand me somehow. Possibly, but even <laughs> even then, there's a limit to how much. So you still like you still think monsters will attack him out there? I do. And that's why I'm worried. Well, I can't say I don't like your kind side. What are you trying to say? Whoa, watch it with the whip, will you? Then just keep your thoughts to yourself. Hey, wait up. If you get too far ahead, I won't be able to protect you if something happens. Why do you still have the whip out? It's not your concern. I'm going on ahead without you. And there she goes. <laughs> Didn't I just tell her to wait? Seriously. What's got her so riled up? Yeah. Let's just get after her. Okay, here we go. Quest added. Check out a new quest. Deep within the trees. Now that, you've, now that you've arrived in the woods, it's best to find a spot to say goodbye to our cats. That's the way out. So even though she ran away, she's still in our party. Strikes a single target, target speed, and speed down one right here. Treasure 
treasure chest doing over there? Doing where? Wow, you must have a good eye to notice that. Yes, I'm sorry, I have a very good eye. That reminds me, Heimert said those chests found in towns and dungeons are free game. So we should never hesitate to grab the contents. What you're saying is, since I found it, whatever inside is mine. Awesome. Let me open it. Back to open treasure chest. You can't stand in front of it. You can stand in front of it and click on it. Good to know. Give it a whirl and thanks for the tip. Did you just hurry up already? Click on the treasure chest. Hmm. Exit feather found. Okay. Exit feather, huh? I'm thinking right, we should be able to return to the entrance of a dungeon using one of these. In that case, it should be useful for getting out of here. Yeah, but let's hurry. Head for now. Attack is less than a spell. Makes the wearer feel the wearer feel a hint of joy occasionally rebound after using a magical skill as well. Right. So can we equip that or I think we already have max equipment on, on both these guys. So if we got to equip. See, so he's already wearing. So if you unequip. It gets 12 defense. because it gives us more defense. Okay. And it's not possible to wear two items at one time. That's weird. Okay. Alright. But I'm sure as time goes on, we'll get more party members. So... This should be a good spot. really good by, isn't it? 
sorry about this little one. If I were a skilled monster trainer I want to become, I would take you along. That's all the sappy talk for, Solo. You sound like you don't want him to be free. It's not that at all. It's just there's a limit to what you can study and do at the orphanage to become a monster trainer. Yeah. On the other hand, in the capital, there's an academy for that. And jobs are plenty for the, for the guild. So if you're serious about becoming one, like you say, as I am about being able to help better manage the orphanage, then we know where we'll find okay, the skills. I realize that, but let's work hard to master the skills we need so we can return here one day. You know what? You're right. Oh, wait. Why is that being comfortable by you? Being comforted by you? <laughs> Will you put the whip down already? Say no on the older of us. Yeah, and <laughs> if you act your age, I would need to take you out of the dumps. Besides, what's one year? That one year still means I'm older, that's what. Whatever. Let's just finish up releasing this cat. If we're late getting back, Shannon will start to fret. Suppose that is true. Looks like this time it's time to say goodbye, little one. But don't worry, we'll come back for you one day, I promise. Meow. Well I guess this is it for now. I sense a suitable candidate here. Uh oh, what's going on? Who's there? The monster, but it's this powerful magic I think. Somehow this is different from the monsters we have encountered. Who are you? That had no obligation to tell the likes of you humans. Even so, you seem to have a great magical potential. So I'll, I'll borrow, I will borrow your body. Zach, watch out! Knocked out. Ow. That's smart. Sir. You alright, Stella? Yes, but... He's standing in my comfort zone. Whoa, that was too close for comfort. Put that thing away, will you? I'm so sorry. Forget it. We should just focus on what happens. What happened to our pet? Can you hear me? Don't move while I try to. He jumps in front of you to protect you. Hey, Cat, are you still alive? Hey, Kevin, he's coming to. What in the. Boys, why is it coming out of our cat? Can I not just say I have no obligation to tell you, like, tell the likes of you humans? As for this body, I'll be using it until I decide otherwise. It looks like the spirit took control of the cat instead of the boy. What's with a strange look? Then again, I must say I never did understand humans. Hmm, this can't be right. I most certainly possess your body. So how can I be standing here? How is it that you suddenly grew taller? I never know. I'll never I've never known your kind to sprout so quickly. You're the one who shrunk, idiot. Zack, don't say that to our cat. I never miss my targets when it comes to how slow you humans are. Now about this body of mine. Huh? What is this giant chunk of, <laughs> of lard and hair I'm stuck in? Not stuck in, you put yourself there. It was a wild cat, wasn't it? He deliberately, <laughs> he deliberately set me up. And set you up. It was your own fault. Now hurry and get out of him. You heard her, and after that, you got some explaining to do. Well, it's going to have to wait. For one, I can't get out of this body. And it's definitely not my choice. It'd be hard to imagine when a spirit enters a physical body, the amount of energy, the amount of magic expanded is so great that they're unable to process possess another for a period of time. Poor K. 
pets. I'm about who I am. I usually never tell the likes of you kids. Given the circumstances, I suppose things can't get any worse. I'm not none other than the light deity who oversees and protects this world. Oh boy. The light deity. Hmm. Boy, they don't look shocked. But what should I expect? I am divine. Now humans, let's see you bow before me. It's the biggest little bull I've ever heard. What? Zack, at least you could do is try not to hurt his feelings. I don't understand. Are you saying you don't believe me? Of course not. I wouldn't believe a deity that's stupid enough to get himself stuck in a cat. Now you've gone too far, it appears. You're in need of some divine punishment for your belligerence. Ooh, meows. Wait, Zack. No matter what crazed spirit is inside him, our cat must have felt that too. Sorry, but I couldn't take any more crap. What do we do now? We can't leave our cat here. Well, given what's happened, maybe the best thing to do is to take him back to the orphanage. Agreed. Hopefully Shannon will know what to do about the situation. On the other hand, we can't keep keep referring to this animal as a cat now that he can talk. What do you say we give him a name? Good idea. In that case, how does Felix sound? Works for me. Come on, Felix, let's go. Felix the cat, of course. What ignorant fools trust a deity about his, their ungrateful name? I'll have you know. Sip it for now. Listen to what you can. Listen to what we can bear of your pathetic tale when we get back to the orphanage. Stop it, human. Unhand the nape of my neck. Meow. Quest added. Right. So I think that's a good stopping point for this series. We'll be back with part two very soon. Hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did enjoy that, please feel free to give me a like or a sub. It does help me out a lot. And I will see you guys in the next video. You guys have a good one.